guys, it's Minx here. Hope you're doing super numb today. We are playing Faded Grey today. This is an indie horror game from Itch.io. It's meant to be quite moving. So, uh, is that red eyes outside the window there? Oh, I went out. That's kind of creepy. Regardless, let's check it out, shall we? Just as well I am wearing headphones. I am wearing Razer Cat Ear headphones. That's not sponsored or anything. I just am wearing them because I am a professional eagle. <coughs> All right. No flashlight? Seven pieces of evidence to find, it seems. Oh, we can turn lights on. That's nice. I like being able to see in my horror games, really. It's like a... It's quite a major selling point to me. I say selling point. This game is free, by the way. But still. It's been 20 years since my accident. Our family went to the cabin for vacation, and my uncle came along as well. He was the only one there when it happened. I still don't remember back then, but I've been having a lot of strange dreams lately. Maybe it's starting to make sense. Okay. So there was an accident 20 years ago, I believe she said. It would be very nice if these were subtitled, but I don't think... I think subtitling is probably harder than I think it is to put into a game. Like, I can subtitle a video pretty easily, but I don't know how, you know, it would work in game code, you know. Um, but I do think that, if possible, uh, game developers, you should try and put, um, you know... Uh, that into your games because it makes it so much more accessible for everyone. I do like the fact I can light the house up nicely though. Let's look around see what we can find. I'm guessing we're gonna have to find. My husband's putting the baby to sleep. I don't want to disturb them. Okay. So the husband and baby are both alive? That's probably a net plus, right? It's fucking miserable outside. It's like a typical night here. Jesus Christ. Oh, I can't light the candles. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for in this uh, in this house, but hopefully things will become more apparent as we explore. It's a pretty big house. Holy shit. Oh, oh God. I thought that was a person at the angle when it came down. It freaked me the fuck out. I mean, I guess you're meant to think that. We're like someone like sitting slumped in a chair. Wow. These guys are fucking loaded. Holy shit, this house is huge. I know uh, Americans were like, uh, this is like a totally normal sized house. Uh, to me, this is like ridiculously big. Oh, look at the numkin. A toy rabbit I got from the hospital down the street. Okay. That one does not count as a... a memory. Okay, so I have a flashlight now. A pretty terrible flashlight, but a flashlight nonetheless. That I found knocking around upstairs. Hang on, did the rabbit move? You have to power it up by clicking it off and on, by the way, which is one of the most obnoxious fucking things in, in history. I understand flashlights like that exa exist in real life. God, I love this show. But nobody wants to use one in the video game. I 
I wish I had gone with my parents out on the boat that day, but I didn't. Earlier I had been playing back behind the cabin and found a sinkhole. I don't remember it, but they said I saw something in the hole. It was probably just some animal, but all I told them at the time was it had red eyes. An animal with red eyes and a sinkhole. Okay, so this is taking a supernatural turn. Oh, I see! Okay, so the picture in the top right-hand corner changes depending on what the item is we are looking for. So I had to find, like, the boat shape thing. Okay, so this is probably the drawing of the creepy thing that's in the office upstairs. I'm not sure why I would have kept it for 20 years. But who cares? The rabbit is deaf. This is moving around the house, by the way, of its own accord. Uh, which I find pretty unsettling at this point in time. So it's probably this next. Yes. After that, I was too scared to leave the cabin. So when my family went out that day, my uncle volunteered to stay with me. I never liked my uncle, so I must have been pretty scared to stay there alone with him. Oh, creepy uncle. This door just closed itself of its own accord, by the way. I just want to point that out. And all the lights are now off downstairs that were on before. Great. And I don't seem to have a guard. This is probably to show the creepy red eyes. Yep. Hey there. How's it going? You a gnomekin? Mwah. I love you too. Alright. Now I know where that is. That's in the basement. Because we had a little tour of the house. Where the fuck is the basement? I can't remember. Basement. This is the garage. I'm guessing that... No, I don't know. I wonder who dies. I wonder what happens. I'm really curious so far with the with the story. Here's the basement. Hello there, creepy thing. He said I was trying to cover the windows with sheets when I fell off a chair. I hit my head on the dresser and had to be rushed to the hospital. I was in a coma for three days. When I woke up, I couldn't remember anything from the last six months. Okay. That is not how I expected that to go, if I'm honest with you. Alright, so next we're looking for like a photograph or a picture or something like that. It's probably going to take me a little bit of time to find this one, guys. So I will be right back once I have located it. If I see if the bunny's moved again, I'll let you know, because the bunny is was here and it's like it's it's fucked off again. Like it's 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 fucking it's fucking possessed, all right? And I, I'm not really okay with it teleporting around the house as it is. But um, unfortunately, you know, sometimes you just have to put up with teleporting rabbit shit. It's really fucking rude of it, to be honest with you. Aha! Well, my I didn't dad never really talked to my uncle after that. I guess he never believed my uncle's story. My dad would say that if there had been a monster at that cabin, it was him. Okay, I guess that's a photo of the cabin. There, you little shit. Where are you gonna go next, huh? Only two more items left to find. One of them, next one is the couch. Right? Is there a couch in any of the... I mean, considering this house is so fucking huge, I wouldn't be surprised if we had multiple couches, if I'm honest with you. So, yeah, it's one of these ones. This one. This one specifically. I haven't thought about the accident in the last few years, but lately it's been on my mind a lot. It's these dreams. They started a few months ago, and now it's every night. In my dreams, I'm just sitting on the couch next to my uncle watching the fire burn. As I turn and look at him, he's smiling back, but all I feel is fear. And then I hear the knocking. Oh, fuck. I heard a knock.
Was that my footsteps? I don't like the way this story is going, by the way. We kind of all know the way it's going, huh? No? Alright. I'm hearing like little noises and it's creeping me the fuck out. Oh, hi. Hello there. That's a fucking Mothman. I can see its wings. What the fuck? Alright. I guess this is... No, it's not. Alright, so we have a larger picture to find. I can do that. And this will presumably tell us... Something incredibly bum. To put it mildly, I think, at this point. Must be real. I wonder if the bunny, like, symbolizes something more, like, significant. It's entirely possible. This is a very, very bleak game, though, the way this is going. Ah, oh, maybe it's this painting over the uh, mantelpiece here. Yep. For a long time, I wanted to remember. It felt like an important part of who I am had been taken from me. But as these dreams keep getting stronger, well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm better off not remembering. That was very sad. I like the music here at the end too. So yeah, this is like a manifestation of blocking out a traumatic event that is clearly to do with her uncle. And I feel like the uh, the Mothman is uh, obviously like a childlike manifestation of the monster that she perceives her uncle as, perhaps? That's what comes across as here. Um, very dark. But, um, very, uh, very well done. Sometimes it's easier to let go of the past when you take a closer look at your present. That's actually a pretty nice sentiment. Recognize what you've been through, but appreciate where you are and how far you have come. Yeah. Thank you. This was actually really sweet in, like, its message at the end there. And, um, find out what happens when you can't forget. Go to si gate to site 8. Oh, is this another game? Let me have a quick look. An emotional walking simulator. Okay, maybe we can check this out sometime, actually. It's not out yet, it's coming soon, but yeah, we'll probably check that out, because this was pretty good. Looks like they're doing a much bigger, like, budget title that's getting released on Steam. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, I like this a lot. Um, yeah, just I feel kind of I feel sad, but kind of like wistful, I suppose, at the same time. Anyway, that was Faded Grey. Uh, if you guys enjoy the content here, consider uh, subscribing, leave a like, and uh, if you really enjoy the content, consider pledging to our Patreon to allow us to keep doing this. It's it's how we fund this channel at all, really. So uh, link below. Lots of cool stuff there. Check it out. Anyway guys, thank you for being awesome. I will see you guys really soon for more content, and I hope you guys have a fantastic, beautiful, amazing, and wonderful day. See ya. I didn't feel comfortable doing this in the video for this uh, particular type of story, but I do want to shout out our producer Alice as well. Thank you Alice for making all these videos possible. I hope you enjoyed this one, a bit of a different narrative to what we normally do, and yeah, you should check out her links, they're on screen right now. She's a super nomkin, and we love Alice. Thanks for watching again, guys. Goodbye.